Number 27, for each pair of standard cell potential and electron stoichiometry values below, calculate a corresponding standard free energy change in kilojoules. All right, so they give us negative 2.439 volts and a 9 and a 9. I saw this N. An N of 1. Now, what do those mean? Well, 1's got to be the standard cell potential. 1's got to be something to do with electron stoichiometry. Let's start with the cell potential. Remember, a cell potential is always a E cell value. And specifically, since they're talking about standard values, we're, we know that we have an E notch cell. That little degree sign in the upper right-hand corner just means that we're in standard conditions. And an E cell value always has units of volts, so V. So this value has to be the E cell value which means that the other one has to be the electron stoichiometry value. But what does N of 1 really mean? Well, N, just like in PV equals NRT, and N means moles. But for cell potentials and oxidation reduction reactions, the N gets a little bit more specific. This means it's the amount of moles of electrons that are actually being transferred from your oxidant to your reductant, right? So we're only transferring one electron from whoever is being oxidized to whoever is being reduced. Now we wanna find that standard free energy change. A free energy is a G value. The changes would be a delta G. And since we're also talking about standard, I know I have that little notch there. So this is what I want. So I say to myself, do I know any, uh, formulas that have a delta G value, an E cell, and a mole value. Yeah, I do. There's only one of them, and it's this one. Delta G notch equals negative NF E cell. Now, we already know the N value. That's a 1. We just said that the E cell value was the negative 2.439 volts. But what's the F value? Well, F is Faraday's constant. It's a constant number. So anytime that, they, that you're using F, it's always 96,485. And this is coulombs per mole. So it's C over M if you want to know the units. But now you might be saying, well, how, is these, how are these coulombs going to be canceled out? Well, just know that a volt is an easier way of saying joule per Coulomb. So there's your coulombs that are going to cancel out. And with the joules left over, that's why when you use this formula, delta G is going to come out in a joule value. We want kilojoules, so we're going to have to convert in a little bit. But let's just see what this answer is. Delta G equals negative. We have the N, F, and the E cell value. 1 for the n value, one mole, we got the 96,485, and then the E cell value was negative 2.439. So negative, if you want to write their one, that's fine, one times 96,485 times a negative 2.439, let's just make sure I plugged in everything correctly, looks good to me, press enter, bada bing bada boom, delta G is... I guess we'll use four sig figs. This n equals one is a specific value. So it was not measured, right? It's not a measured value. It's just saying that there's one mole that was transferred. So I'm going to put in four sig figs here. So two, three, five, three, the rest have to be zeros. And that's in joules. But they want it in kilojoules. That's okay. So to go from joules to kilojoules, we just divide by 1,000. Similarly, just take the decimal, move it to the left three spots. So my new delta G value would be a 2, 3, 5, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So 253.3. There we go. And that is in kilojoules. Final answer. We are done with this problem. What'd you think? 
Okay, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all are doing great out there. If you wouldn't mind, please tell your friends and classmates about this channel. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. And I think it's a pretty good educational resource while learning chemistry and physics and math. We got those subjects covered too on the channel. We got almost 5,000 videos, and they're all made for you to get better at your subjects. So thank you. Go check the channel out, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.